Hi, welcome to Anna Prime Recap. You are in a deep sleep for 20 years, and when you finally wake up, all your friends are being slaughtered by an extraterrestrial bacteria. Today we walk through the scary story of the anime, Lily Cat. This adventure takes place in the 23rd century, where multinational companies look for distant planets in search of mining rights. The Syncam Corporation is one of them and is investigating a new discovered planet. In order to collect data about this new planet, the company hires the Saldi's crew to accompany its scientists there. For this trip, all crew members will need to go into cryogenic sleep, as it will take about 20 years to reach that planet. That way, their bodies, biologically, will only age one month. Nancy, the president's daughter, is one of the crew and takes her cat Lily to embark on this adventure with her. Otherwise, by the time the girl returned to Earth, her cat would have died of old age. In space, everyone is inside their chambers, waiting to be woken up, including Lily. While the crew are in deep sleep, something strange happens. Someone inside the ship instructs the computer to collect a sample of space debris that contains living matter. After being collected, an incident occurs and the pipelines in Block 4 are damaged. The still unidentified object is sucked up and sent to the water tank, where it is dissolved. After 20 years since they left Earth, the crew wake up and Lily soon goes to meet Nancy. The team responsible for commanding the ship finds a message, sent by the Syncam manager three months after they had departed. He informs them that there are two imposters among the scientists sent on the mission, both of whom used false identities to board the Saldis. He still reports that they managed to identify the culprits, but before he could reveal their true identities, the recording is cut and Caroline says the message had been partially erased. Captain Hamilton suggests that they ask the other crew members who really are part of the team of scientists, as they are all members of the same company. But as Syncam is a multinational, each employee had been sent from a different country and they all knew each other only the moment they embarked on the mission. The team responsible for commanding the ship speculates that the two imposters are nothing more than fugitives who committed crimes on Earth and decided to embark on a 40-year voyage, so that their crimes would already be forgotten. Then the exploration team arrives in the room and Hamilton explains how they will proceed from there. He asks scientists to come down to the planet by some small transporting ships so that they can carry out a geological study and collect different minerals. While giving instructions, he is interrupted by Caroline, who informs him that the temperature in Block 4 was rapidly dropping. When looking at the monitor, the captain observes that the ducts of that block were damaged. So Hamilton asks Hero and Morgan to accompany Dooler, the chief engineer, to Block 4 to help him repair the ducts. He even asks Morgan to leave the gun there with them, as he wouldn't need to use it. Later, while eating their first meal in 20 years, Caroline informs Hamilton that the damage to the ducts in Block 4 was most likely caused by the remote manipulator, as there are records of it being used. This means that during hibernation someone was giving commands to the computer. After finishing his meal, Morgan walks alone through the halls. The man was already with his weapon in hand again when he hears a strange noise. He prepares to shoot, but when his colleagues find him, he is already dead. Meanwhile, Lily watches them from afar. After taking a CT scan of the victim's body, Dr. Harris reports that the cause of death is something similar to Legionnaire's disease, in which bacteria settle in the lung and cause the host's death by asphyxiation. Hamilton argues that the ship's interior should have been disinfected before the trip, but the doctor informs him that those bacteria did not come from Earth. The captain orders mechanics Guy and Watt to check the transport ships so the explorers can descend to the planet and asks the rest of the crew to split into two groups and look for anything suspicious on the ship. Minutes later, Lily appears in Dr. Harris's lab, who is also found dead shortly thereafter. Due to the gravity of the situation, the captain's team members begin interrogating the scientists sent by Syncam in order to find the two imposters. But everyone answers their cards correctly and the crew can't detect the culprits. Caroline informs Hamilton that she has yet to receive any response from Guy and Watt. When the woman turns on the hangar camera, they can see that the mechanics were already dead. All victims are taken to the infirmary and their bodies are placed under stretchers. Nancy is worried about Lily, who was with her not long ago but has disappeared. The girl then asks Hiro to help her find her cat. They separate to look for her, Nancy spots Lily walking down the halls and goes after her, but the cat disappears again. On the other side of the ship, Hiro informs the other crew that the bodies of his deceased colleagues have disappeared. When they get to the medical room, they can see that only the clothes were there. His dead comrades had really disappeared. Soon after, the alarm goes off and everyone runs terrified to see what was happening. On the way, they find a desperate Nancy. Her cat Lily was being devoured by the wall. The bacteria were corroding the entire interior of the ship. With nothing to do, everyone returns to the main room and the captain, with Caroline's help, removes block 4 due to the risk of infection. Even with all that tragedy, 
The crew still doesn't abandon their mission. Hamilton asks Dick to choose the members of the first expedition, who will descend to the planet along with Gott and Dueller. Meanwhile, Dorothy goes to the medical room for a CT scan. The woman suspects that she may also be contaminated by the bacteria. After the exam, she is relieved to find that her lung is intact. But as she gets up, the woman is captured by a completely disfigured creature. In the control room, Caroline informs the captain that the hangar door is opening and the command is coming from the main room. Seconds later, the woman loses connection to the main room and no longer has any control over the aircraft. Hamilton tries to communicate with Gott and Dueller and asks them to leave immediately, but it is too late. The hangar doors open and they are sucked out of the ship, along with everything inside. Then the entire block is abandoned and destroyed in an explosion. The rest of the crew tries to get through to the other blocks, but the doors don't open and they are trapped in the control room. The only survivor not among them is Dorothy. Hero suggests that the woman could be in the medical room and the team goes to check. When they get there, they find only her clothes, her body was also gone. Hero claims that Dorothy went into the room to check her lungs. When questioned about how he knew this information, Hero says that he had done the same because it was possible that everyone was already contaminated by the bacteria. He explains that the damaged pipeline from block 4 led to the water tank. If space junk containing the bacteria was sucked in, they were spread throughout the spacecraft through the ventilation system. At that moment, Dick, who is holding his dead colleague Morgan's gun, says it is very suspicious that Hero knows so much about medicine, since the record said that he was an expert in space engineering. At this point, Hero realizes that Dick is not a Syncam employee, but a detective who was looking for him to arrest him for the deaths of three people. Hero, who was actually a medical student, still reveals that after the crime, he planned a 40-year escape, but never expected the detective to go this far after him. Hero and Dick were the two imposters who were infiltrating the crew, but apparently they had nothing to do with the tragedies that were happening on the ship. Dick cuffs Hero and says that despite knowing he is probably already infected by the bacteria, he is still alive. And as long as he breathes, it's his duty to arrest criminals. Captain Hamilton says that was an immature attitude. No one else would be waiting for him. As they argue, Nancy spots Dorothy hiding in the corner of the room. When she goes to talk to the woman, her face splits in half and Lily, her cat, comes out of her. Dick shoots the monster but ends up being repelled. Despite being inside the ship, the gravity was not the same as on Earth. While Hero tends to Dick's injuries, Hamilton, Caroline and Jimmy make their way to the entrance to the main room. The captain asks Caroline to wait there while he and Jimmy go to the boiler room to get something to melt the door. But the woman hears a strange noise and goes through the halls to find out what's going on. At the end of the hallway, she spots a wall being corroded by bacteria. On the other side, a shape-shifting creature was waiting for her. In the medical room, Nancy questions Hero about why the boy killed those people. According to the girl, he didn't seem like a bad guy. He explains that he did it as revenge for them inducing his sister into the drug world. Hero says his sister was studying abroad and was always texting her family, but suddenly she just stopped. He tried to get in touch with the school where she was studying, but they said she had left a long time ago. Hero then went there to look for her. When he finally found her a year later, his sister was in a terrible situation, both mentally and physically. Eventually, she ended up dying and that's why he killed the three men who dragged her into that world. Dick goes on to say that those were just merchants he was chasing and if not for Hero's interference, the detective could have unmasked the organization that was behind them. When they return to the main room entrance, Hamilton and Jimmy do not find Caroline. While the boy goes to look for her, the commander tries to destroy the door to the room so they can resume command of the ship. Jimmy finds the hole in the wall that Caroline had seen minutes before, just like her, he is also attacked by the monster. The captain manages to break down the door and, upon entering the room, is surprised to find Lily, Nancy's deceased kitten. The animal rushes to attack him, but Hamilton manages to stop it with the flamethrower. When he approached to check if it was still alive, the creature got up and, as its skin had melted, the captain could see that it was, in fact, a robot. Upon being discovered, the animal flees and Hamilton finds data on the computer about the bacterial invasion. He then asks if it is possible to contain the invasion, but is told that a few hours after takeoff, the computer was subjected to the master's instruction, and was no longer obliged to respond to anyone but him. And he is surprised to discover that it was a computer robot in the form of an animal, also known as Lily C.A.T. Upon obtaining this information, the captain runs to the medical room, he informs his colleagues that that block was also being corroded and asks everyone to run to the main room. He even says that Caroline and Jimmy disappeared, probably they were already dead too. On the way back to the central part of the ship, the crew came across a completely corroded corridor. They proceed cautiously and, halfway through, they hear a strange noise. 
the creature appeared to be circling through the ducts. When least expected, the monster jumps out and charges at the survivors. The monster was completely bizarre and looked more like infusion of all the crew that had died. With his disgusting tentacles, he tries to capture the rest of the team. The creature appears from under the ground and starts chasing them. To make things worse, Nancy is terrified. With his flamethrower, Hamilton manages to evade that cluster of cells and the small group finally reaches the central part of the aircraft. As they catch their breath, the captain informs them of what he had discovered while in the main room. He says that a robot cat was controlling the ship. He had been sent in secret along with the crew so he could report everything that was happening. While the crew slept for 20 years, this robot collected as much information as possible about the planet being studied. Under orders from Syncam, this machine brought on board a microorganism harmful to both the crew and the ship itself. And during that conversation, something's wrong with Dick. His body starts to writhe and then suddenly comes apart completely. Their remains enter through the vent to join the creature that was chasing them minutes before. After witnessing this situation, Hero concludes that the bacterium has the ability to destroy its host's body at a cellular level and then activate other cells that transform it into something completely different. Minutes later, the trio hears a very loud noise and the captain realizes that the entire ship is being eaten away and the blocks are being destroyed. With no hope of getting out of that place alive, Hero loads the shotgun with the last three bullets and says he'd rather take his own life than have the same fate as his friends. As he was about to pull the trigger, the captain reveals that even if they all die, that creature would survive and return to Earth along with the robot cat. He says that while in the main room he looked at the corrosion data and found that only the blocks were being destroyed. The central part of the ship remained intact due to the difference in the strength of the generator's magnetic field. When bacteria come into contact with a strong magnetic field, they are destroyed. In that case, the robot cat would not be eliminated, as it has its own magnetic field. Thus, the animal would return to Earth and take with it a bacterium capable of annihilating all humanity. To try to escape, Hamilton suggests that they leave the ship and head to the planet they were sent to explore. There, there are all the necessary conditions for human beings to survive. As all the ships had been destroyed, the captain guides them to a space shuttle, which he kept as a souvenir of his first trip to space. Hamilton closes the door and asks the youth to survive. He returns to the center of the ship with a mission to destroy Lilycat and prevent that evil robot from returning to Earth. As soon as Nancy and Hero get on the shuttle, that shape-shifting creature clings to the ship. On their way to the new planet, they are attacked by extraterrestrial bacteria. Meanwhile, the captain opens the gas duct and begins to squirm. But before he has his body transmuted, he lights a lighter and blows up the entire ship, turning the robot cat, along with those monsters, into a barbecue. That way, Hiro and Nancy can continue on their way to the unknown planet. Will these young people be able to survive on a new planet, without any resources? Or do you think that, like all the other crew members, they are also contaminated and, sooner or later, will come to an end too? So what did you think of this anime? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more anime recaps. See you next time.